Mother Nature is turning up the heat near record heat, make that. And people are heading to the swimming pools, but for small children, that can turn tragic in an instant. Yeah, two families in the Salt Lake Valley almost lost their young daughters this weekend. News for Utah's Rick Aaron has details on these near drownings from Salt Lake City. A two year old girl remains in critical condition here at Primary Children's Hospital after somehow getting into a neighbor's swimming pool Sunday morning in Riverton. And a three year old girl could have died Saturday in West Jordan if not for the quick life saving action of another parent. That man does not want to be identified, but he does want his story told. I just hear one of the girls scream she's drowning. The man says no one in the crowded community pool noticed the preschooler go under. I think the little girl just kind of blended in. So nobody, nobody noticed that she was drowning. And I think that was a big issue that none of the adults, including myself, were paying attention to the kids in the pool, including the adults in the pools. He says her body was limp when he pulled her out of the water and laid her down on the ground. I heard no breathing. It was a very faint pulse. It was very scary. I thought she was going to die. Um, start performing CPR. I try to get all the water out of her lungs. Um, then her dad and her mom ran over and kind of, you know, helped me a little bit um, to get her to breathe again. Eventually, we got her to start kind of breathing, but it was very difficult for her. And we just kept trying to pump the water out of her chest. Eventually, she began to breathe. You could feel the breath when you put your ear up to it. You could feel her chest coming in and out. And then, you know, I felt a, a stronger pulse. And then that's when the paramedics arrived and, and they took over. She was treated overnight at a hospital and released Sunday morning. To be honest, I'm just happy the girl is okay. I'm not, I don't look for glory or anything like that. I'm just glad that she's fine and she didn't suffer any brain damage like I thought she was going to. And that's, that's all that matters to me. Primary Children's Hospital warns parents to never take your eyes off children in the water. Stay alert and avoid distractions. And if a child is missing, always check the pool first. All pools should be enclosed with self-closing and locking fences. In Salt Lake City, Rick Aaron, News 4, Utah.